Today I'll be making frosty snow candle holders using wide mouth mason jars. And I'm going to first start off by spraying these with a light coat of frosted glass spray. And I had this left over from a previous project when I did my light fixtures. And this is great to use for crafts like this because it only takes around 10 to 15 minutes to dry. Once these are dry, you can see that there's just a light coat and it kind of gradually fades towards the top of the candle holder. I'll be taking some high gloss Mod Podge and I will be brushing this onto the jars and then I will be sprinkling some coarse salt on top of it. You want to make sure that your Mod Podge is applied pretty thick so your salt will adhere to it. And I'm not going uniform around the top because I just wanted these to have an abstract feel to them. Now I started by pouring the salt in my hand and sprinkling the salt onto the jar and then pressing it down with my fingers. But you'll see in a minute that I decided to just go ahead and pour from the jar and that made the process a whole lot quicker. And you're just going to repeat this process of adding Mod Podge and salt around the entire jar. I'm going to set this one aside to dry and do the same thing to the other one.
These are going to have to probably dry for a couple of hours. Once they're dry, I took some twine and I cut them to the length where I could wrap the twine around the top of the jar twice. And then I took a little sprig of greenery. You can use any type of greenery you want. You can use artificial, which is what I'm using, or you can even use fresh greenery. And I'm just tying it around the top, and then I'm going to be tying my twine into a small bow. You can add berries, you can add anything you want to decorate your jar with. And I'm repeating this process on the second jar. I am really impressed with how these jars turned out. They turned out so beautiful. I may leave them out year round. I just love them so much. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be pouring approximately a half an inch of just regular table salt into the bottoms of the jars, and that is so my tea lights will have something to sit down into. And the tea lights I'm leaving inside their tins because I don't want melted wax in the bottom of my jars. And I'm just putting them in the center of the jar and pressing them down a little bit into the salt. You could also use white sand for this if you wanted to. I just don't happen to have any on hand. And that is it. These turned out so, so beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a blessed day. Come back and see more videos from my channel. And thank you again for watching.